Hi friends, welcome to Wings of Arrow. Um, today I will solve a rocket propulsion question asked on Gate Aerospace 2020. How to find rocket thrust using characteristics velocity and chamber pressure? And also, what are the list of hypergolic propellant? So before proceeding, if you are new to this channel, let me introduce myself. I am Aishwarya. Mostly I make video on aerospace subjects, tips and tricks to crack the competitive exam. Also I share career guidance opportunities for aerospace and aeronautical engineers. So stay tuned to our channel for further updates. So let's come back to today's topic. So <clears throat> here is the question. A rocket engine has a sea level specific impulse of 210 seconds and nozzle throat area of 0 0.005 meter square. While testing a sea level conditions, the characteristic velocity and the pressure for the thrust chamber are 1900 meter per second and 50 bar respectively. Now, assume the acceleration due to gravity to be 9.81 meter per second. The thrust produced by the rocket engine is in we have to find in terms of kilonewton and round off to one decimal place. So this question is consists of two marks since there is no option. So this will carry no negative marking for this gate 2020. So let's come to the solution. Here is the given data. First, they have given the specific impulse that is 210 second. The area of the throat has been given. Either we can denote a star or a suffix t in, in term of throat, which is 0 0.005 meter square. Then characteristic velocity c star, which is 1900 meter per second. They have given the chamber pressure that is 50 bar we need to convert in terms of Pascal so 50 into 10 power 5 and G is been given that is acceleration due to gravity is 9.81 meter per second square. Now from this given data we have to uh, find out the thrust obtained by this rocket engine that is T. So we know the very basic formula that is thrust t equals to mass flow rate into gravity into the specific impulse now the question is here we know the specific impulse and gravity but we don't know what is a mass flow rate so again using this characteristic formula we can obtain and find out the formula for the, or the value for the mass flow rate so here is the formula here you can see the mass flow rate m dot equals to P naught A star by C star. So using this relation, I can find out what is the value of the M dot. Now substituting the value of P naught A star or A T and C star. So after substituting, we get the mass flow rate about 13.157 kg per second. Now simply we need to substitute back to our original equation that is t equals to m dot g isp. So we get that m dot is getting around 13.157 and g is 9.81 and isp is in 210. So after solving this proper problem we get as 27106.57 that is around 27106.57 newton but in this question they have asked in terms of kilo newton and round off to one decimal place so we can obtain the right option that or the right answer is uh, 27.1 kilo newton as per the IIT Delhi given the answer key so it is within the proper range that is uh, 27 to 27.2 kilonewton and which is within the proper limit coming to the next question which of the following is an hypergolic propellant combination used in rocket engines rocket fuel RP1 liquid oxygen B option liquid hydrogen liquid oxygen c unsymmetrical dimethyl hydrogen nitrogen trioxide 
D option is a liquid hydrogen liquid fluorine. Now from here before proceeding to the right answer let's see what is mean by the hypercolic propellant. It is a combination of the propellant which is used in the rocket engine to ignite spontaneously when they both propellant come in contact with each other. We don't need here additional igniter when the propellant come in contact that itself it can get ignite. So such kind of propellant is called as an hypergolic propellant. So these are the following types. Some are obsoleted, some are presently in use. So from there we can pick the right option from this question that option C that is unsymmetrical dimethyl hydrogen nitrogen trioxide is the right option and other the options which are given these are a semi cryogenic fluid and some are the cryogenic fluid so hope the solution were helpful for you all stay tuned and connect in all the social media for further updates like jobs internship and many more don't hesitate to ask queries either in comment box or drop a mail to wings of arrow at gmail.com and thank you for watching this video and fly high